Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. Over at Stamp Nation, we have a class. It is called Eat, Sleep, Create, and it is mixed media for card makers. Josephine has been our first instructor up and she has done some pretty amazing videos. I have been planning to take the techniques that I learn in this class and apply them to my card making, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video today. I have a piece of watercolor cardstock here and some ink refills, flirty fuchsia, lime ricky, and all that jazz. So I also have my distress sprayer. In the, in one of the videos, uh, one of the techniques that Josephine showed was basically kind of thinking about your cardstock in six different sections, like I'm showing. She used spray mist. And I'm gonna tweak that up a little bit and I'm using my Distress Sprayer. I'm just adding water to the watercolor cardstock. And then I'm just dropping on color. You can see it just kind of bursts out when it gets when it hits the water. It's a really cool effect. So I have a big little splotch of, of dark, very pigmented, pigmented color in the middle and then it just kind of fans out from there and if you want to increase the surface area of the color you can just spray down some more water and let the water do its thing. You can take your heat tool and heat it also. Um, it kind of depends on the look you're going for and the colors you're using. So I'm using all that jazz which is next to Lime Ricky on the color wheel or in the rainbow. So I'm not too worried about the colors mixing because if they do, uh, you're not going to get brown or you're not going to get mud. The problem would come in with Flirty Fuchsia and the Lime Ricky mixing together. So you want to be careful with that. But here we go. Here's all that jazz. Look at that gorgeous color mixing around. Now you can do a similar technique with your ink pads, just smush them on the the craft mat next to you and pick it up with a paintbrush or a water brush, but using the ink refill bottles gives you a really saturated, highly pigmented color, very bright, very dark. So here I am hitting it up with the heat tool, just kind of uh, speeding up that drying process a little bit because we've got lots of water going on here. Next up, we're gonna add on Flirty Fuchsia. Make sure you have a paper towel nearby. That green or the Lime Ricky and Flirty Fuchsia, they're mixing a little. I wanna control that, because like I said, if they mix together, they're not next to each other on the color wheel. So when they mix together, they may make brown. So speaking of the color wheel, <laughs> if you are interested in learning more about color and color combinations, be sure to head over to katherinepooler.com slash color combo. We have a download over there and we have put together our own color wheel with our, with our ink colors. So uh, be sure to grab that. All right, next up, another trick that Josephine taught us was water. Catherine Pooler inks are water reactive. So I'm spraying down the Do in the Polka background stamp. I'm just laying it on top of my technique piece. And water reactive means when it gets wet, it's going to start moving around again. So you can see there are some faint, subtle little watermarks on there where the polka dots were and they're gonna really create a cool texture background. If you use a paper towel to kind of blot up some of that water, it will end up removing the ink from, from where the water splotches were and you'll get a lighter lighter color there. So just added some, some texture and some interest to the background. Now on to the word dye. So I have a piece of black cardstock. I cut smile out of the middle. This is a paper saver for you. <laughs> I'm gonna end up using that as a layer. But you can see our Love Grows stamp set goes with that smile die. I did You Make Me uh, embossed in white on black. And I could just put it on the card front just like that and call it a day and we'll have a really fun, cool card but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop there. I'm just uh, adding some liquid adhesive here and pretty generously because the water really warped that card stock. That's, that's always, that always is what happens. So it's always nice to put a card layer behind your technique piece. It'll help flatten that out. So we have a nice black mat there. And then I'll use a little bit more liquid glue to attach that to the card front. 
now you can really see that fun texture that the polka dot background created. I'm loving it. So like I said before, I could leave it as is or I want to add some more interest. So I have our stained glass cover plate. I die cut this and just cut it out with white cardstock and I'm going to add some liquid glue just in a few spots around kind of not trying to get too much on because I don't want it to smush out but a good generous coating on there in lots of different places so that it'll lay flat. So we'll go ahead and add that to the card front. One of the things that I love, it was a happy accident, but do you see how there is a little thin black border all the way around the watercolor piece? It just pokes, peeks inside the stained glass cover plate and just serves as another fun border. Uh, don't you love happy accidents? <laughs> so now it's time for the greeting. I'm going to trim down that you make me smile just a little bit or the you make me and add it above the smile. A little bit of liquid glue on the back of that die cut and we'll add all the pieces to the front finishing off the card hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it and you will join us over at stamp nation oh I had lost my eye for a second there it is <laughs> so katherinepluer.com stampnation hope you'll join us over there subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon